Blog Talk Radio. You are now tuned into the best, best, best fatherhood radio show in the world. Furthering Fathering Radio Show. It's the Furthering Fathering Radio Show. The, the, the brothers are back in the building. Brother J in NYC and Brother L in the ATL. The, the, the Furthering Fathering Radio Show starts in five. Four, three, two, one. You ready? L- l- let's get the conversation started. I emphasize that if anyone is listening to this as a replay or listening to it live, connect with further and fathering. You will be encouraged. You will be edified. The 20, 30 minutes that we're on the radio chopping it up is nothing compared to the energy and the strength you will receive from men who love you just because you're a man. And then as they get to know you, they speak life to you, they challenge you, they affirm you, and they enable you to be powerful where you're needed, which is with your family. Brother Derek, you're saying hello. It's not only uh, only, uh, good for the child, but I think it's a mandate from God. Um, I think the heart of the Father belongs to men, and God has called us to be that for as many children as we can. So I don't really echo everything you said. I'm, I'm, I'm fully on board with that. And I think um, the call is for more men to embrace that truth so that we can begin to rebuild our community, our nation, one family at a time. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Further and Father and Radio Show. I am your host here in New York, my uh, co-host here in New York. I am uh, now Elder uh, Jeremy Maynard, and uh, my best friend uh, Lamont down in the ACL is the conducting fatherhood classes and. Um, so uh, I will be flying so low, but not by myself, because I am never alone. Ah, uh, yes, the brothers are back in the building after the debacle of last week when the static interrupted the show. But without further ado, you know how we do. We always start off by honoring our Heavenly Father. And since today we're going to be talking about Praise reports, you know, praise reports are, are, are about those positive stories, and storytelling is vital to the vibrance uh, 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 and the elevation of hope. And uh, that storytelling uh, is a connector. So, uh, you know, good news always matters, and, and, and uh, we want good news to to permeate the air, especially now when the negativity is so easily found, especially with our eye gates and our air gates, um, given what's going on with COVID and um, the supposed relinquishing of power. Um, And what happens is good news uh, inspires. So, um, Nowadays, it's vital, you know, as a, as a leader, we, we want, even with the, with the changeover of, of, of the presidency, and uh, uh, some are happy about it, some are in angst about it, um, no matter where you stand, uh, there's little dispute that a positive power inspire and even spark hope. So with that said, I'm going to read Revelations 12. 11, Revelations 12, 11, and it reads as follows. And they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not themselves unto death. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for the sacrifice that, that is grace. Uh, thank you, Lord, for the blood of the Lamb that Life is in the blood, and because of the blood shed, we have new life. We have eternal life. We thank you, Lord, for what Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, did for us. 
so that we can have a testimony, that we could have good news, so that we could share good news. Thank you for good news, Lord. Uh, it's important, Lord, that, that we as fathers, as leaders, uh, uh, share good news. There's so much negativity that very often, Lord, we even connect based on what we don't like. But, Lord, in the beginning, you made everything very good, and we want to get back to the very good. So help us to tell the very good story of your love on us. Bless us, Lord, to be the Father's leaders and, and, and uh, uh, stewards of your love that, that share and spread your love. Your love is patient, long-suffering, and kind, and it doesn't demand its own way. So help us, Lord, to share the stories of victory because of your love. We thank you, Lord, in the master's name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. You are the Aleph, better Aleph. Amen and amen. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring in um. Uh, my brother here. How you doing? How you doing? I know Guy. How you doing, man? Hey, what's up, brother Jeremy? How are you? I'm excited to be alive. You know, it's um, it's um, much better than last week, right? <laughs> yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Yeah. That, that was a battle last week. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. That 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 was bad, but this is good. So you know, yeah. uh, uh, the praise report is that uh, we don't have to worry about that issue anymore. Right. <laughs> yes. So. So, so praise reports. We've been talking about praise last week. We tried to get into the the, the 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 ten words. You know, some say seven, but it's ten, really eleven words for praise. And and uh, mm -hmm. we went over that in our live in our live stream. And uh, you know, we went kind of strong in that with you know, Brother Frank and and and, and um, uh, Myers uh, Ephraim and and uh, you know, incredible men of God. And we had, we had a great time talking about it. And um, you know, to br briefly review, um, you have Yada, which is raising your hands. You have Barak, which is uh, bowing your knee, a bless is blessing the Lord. A Shabak, which is to shout unto the Lord. We have Halal, which is to rave extravagantly and to, to be clamorously foolish in your praise for the Lord. Uh, which, you know, we have Halal, which is, you know, some say you say Halal food, but Hallelujah is, uh, comes from Halal. It's halal, it's to praise and ja, halal, halal ja. So it's hallelujah, which is to praise, or halal ya is uh, to praise God, right? So mm -hmm. um, then you have zamar, which is to make music with instruments and, uh, or to, even to sing, but primarily it's, it's to make music, so it's, it's to compose and, and, and perform and joyfully perform music uh, before the Lord. That's Zamar, that's number five. Number six is Toda. That's like total praise almost. It's, it's uh, recognition of God taking you from where you were to where he's taking you, and you're joyful and excited about the process. You're appreciating the process. And then Tehila is a song. It's an impromptu freestyle song that just comes off the top of your head, or actually the top of your heart, the top of your spirit, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> to, 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 to praise God. And then uh, that's number seven. Number eight is Rum which is to, to uh, praise God publicly, uh, uh, um, to, to give him enthusiastic praise. Then taka, which is to, to clap. You know, it, makes, it even makes the taka sound. Uh, it's to give the Lord mm -hmm. an ovation. Uh, uh, and, and, and then makal, which is the dance, the, the dance and celebration. D uh, dancing is good for your health, and dancing is good for your praise. And then comes karar, which is also dancing. Dancing uh, in celebration of what God is doing. It's the example is da dancing as David dance, uh, um, and uh, you, you've ever heard the song by Fred Hammond. We would dance as David dance, and um, that that's Quran. So that's those are the uh, those are the, te the eleven types of praise. But this week we're going into a whole new realm. We're going into not only our praise, the individual times and instances when we praise, but to give praise reports. And uh, um, the Health Foundation's website had a great article uh, that 
talk of the power of storytelling. And it was published back in um, December 12th, back in 2016. And there's a specific quote that I took from out of it. So it's a nice long article talking about the power of storytelling. We know, especially in the African-American community and the African diaspora, that storytelling, but in the, in, in the realm of, of Christian faith, the, whole, the entire thing is his story. But, but the, the quote that I wanted to, to read was, it reads as follows, everyone has stories to tell, but storytelling is a skill that can be developed, and as a tool, it can be used to powerful effect. Developed and used purposefully, storytelling can contribute to inclusion and connection, build confidence, and bring about change. So that uh, um, so so praise reports are specific stories, and praise reports are positive, encouraging testimonies about victories right. that come by way of relationship with God. They are real life examples that show. God is good all the time. So with that, let's let's get into it, my brother. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> uh, everybody has, uh, and I know I want to give a, a shout out to you because your birthday—that's a praise report right there. You, well, not your birthday. You 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 were just shouting out being uh, a '60s child. I I I I, I almost misread that that uh that um right. <laughs> that post. That post and almost said happy birthday, and I just I read it again. I said, wait a second, <laughs> uh, he's just he's just bigging up being a '60s child, and and you want to celebrate, child, right. yeah, you know, a uh, 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 boy being born in the '60s. You you've seen if it's a special time uh, uh, of being alive, and uh, even in celebrating, you give a praise report of what you remember, the good times. You know the reflections of good times. Well, you know, uh, you know, praise reports are, 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 you know, primarily people think of praise reports solely as the, uh, what happened because you prayed for something and God, uh, God answered. Your entire life is God speaking. It, it, it's, it's God spoken. So any goodness, and because we say God is good, any goodness that you see and that you celebrate. And that's righteous goodness, not goodness just of the flesh, but righteous goodness. Any goodness that you you partake of, uh, uh, and you share with someone else, you're right. giving a praise report. So, right. with that said, let's 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 chop it up, brother. Let's let's, let's chop it up. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, just, um, just speaking I, of the just speaking of the that that poster that that I that I put up. That actually is a it's it's a a, a, a challenge actually. Where um, you actually speaking on your childhood? It's, it's supposed to be for anyone that was a '60s child, '60s '70s child, and you know, being of that last generation of going outside to play constantly. Yeah. You know, playing. You know, saying or or doing things that you know children do back then. They or the first generation at the same time we were the first generation to play video games. You know, we yeah. were the first generation. To, video game players we're the you know so if we're that we're that generation that made up games that now those games that are, are made up are actually games that you know the kids today look at as nostalgia but we actually made up yeah. games where you know so it, it, it really was actually dealing with that that whole that they say praise of, of that generation of, of yeah. really understanding and knowing that we celebrated a time that was Kind of, you know, very different from now. It's a transitional time. It's a time that we, you know, we were the ones that uh, we may not have invented everything, but we reinvented. You know, we didn't. You know, what I'm saying we didn't. Uh, as yeah. Grandmaster Kaz would say, hip hop didn't invent anything; it reinvented everything. And we're that generation, so that's what it's really celebrating. You know. Um. So so uh, um. You know. When you when you've been through something good, when you've been experienced something good, and you share it, um, that is a praise report. You're, you're, you're ultimately you're thanking God for the good thing that you went through, and, and what right. what happens is um, others buy the good news that you that you're giving, um, the the good report that you're giving. Um, you know, positivity isn't always popular. You know. Uh, 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 people sometimes think that somebody who gives good news is suspect. 
<laughs> yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. It, 